Alright, um, like I, uh, said once, you know, um, basically, um, they're figuring that my grandma's gonna be, gonna pass away, um, probably before her birthday. Way it sounds, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, otherwise, like with today, I guess HR Janine told me that she's gonna be leaving Menards. Um, I told her the truth that I'm trying to leave Menards because I need a full time job, so. I don't know what to do otherwise, but it's just to the point where um, I just can't um, yeah. What we're doing right now is a mosaic piece. Otherwise, um, what I'm trying to do is get this all set. Um, so this way I can get the photo in. Um, and then we're going to drizzle glue all over it. So, but <coughs> <coughs> um, a lot of other things I kind of. I kind of don't want to tell people right now is, um, my, uh, was my grandma going to pass away, the way it sounds at 100%. Um, I'm not going to tell any employers this, that are potential hiring me. But I might have to take off for a funeral. Um, just because right now they're pretty much saying she is going to go. Um, I wish that there was some miracle she could all of a sudden survive and live till she's a hundred. But then, like anyone would say, well, now you're being selfish because you want her to suffer for another so many years just so she's around to be 100 years old. And it's like, yeah. Because, like, like I hate to say it, and I don't want to tell anyone, but my grandpa cannot take care of himself physically and um I just kinda would like my grandma to be around whenever I do have a kid but you know you don't always get what you want in life that's <coughs> that's the thing and then I came to terms with realizing, you know, maybe I do need to go and do like some of these assistant managers had told me in the past since I'm management type. They said, you know, try to be, yeah.
so and as for now I am gonna pursue this because of what they had told me before so like I said I don't want to be that one that So, um, So, but We're gonna put a photo right there, so I gotta make sure that's big enough. Um. So, so I can always put glue back over some of this too if I have to. Um Now, um, let's see, the, the thing is, too, I am really hoping to get out of Menards by Black Friday because I just don't want to be around when that day comes, and I think we should, 
no place is gonna do like uh, Shaq hometown did to me and <coughs> hire you automatically as a supervisor. That you have to work towards, but like I said, um, I feel I I can do it. Because I just have a gut feeling that it's part of my destiny, actually, now, but... Um... You know, some things you just can't run away from, you know. Um, like I said, my husband and I have been trying to have a, conceive our first kid, like I said, since June 2016. And we've been unsuccessful. We don't know what's going on. We don't know if it's him or if it's me. We don't know. We don't even know if he got low sperm count or whatever. We don't know. You know. Um. It's all stuff that's hard, uh, you know, when you're trying to have a kid when you're married, you know, but, like I said, you know,